Hello and welcome. My name is Peter and I'm going to show you how to create such an in, uh, invoice PDF. It will have uh, your name of the company. You, you can also have your logo there and it will be an invoice. It will have even its own invoice number. It will have its uh, order number, invoice date, date, uh, contact. I'll show you how to add even the billing address, shipping address and from the address. I'll also show you how to add this stamp and a footer there you can uh, in the footer section you can add like um, maybe a return policy your terms and conditions uh, maybe a lot you can write anything on that section i also show you how to add a parking a parking slip there is a parking slip that you can include in the package box uh, where you have packed your package i'll show you how to even create the delivery note and a dispatch a dispatch level uh, dispatch slip. We are going to use a free plugin. The plugin is called WooCommerce PDF Invoice Packing Slip Delivery Note. The, li the link for this plugin is on the description section. You can see before I, I used the plugin, I never had the printing for invoice section. Even for this, I had this option that comes with the WooCommerce. But after installing the plugin, I have this printing option. I can even print preview what I just created. And you can also use the timestamp in the description for you to jump on that section that you feel like you just want to that go to this point and learn maybe a single, uh, a single uh, small portion of it. Let's get into action. Yeah, let me show you how to set everything. So what we need to do is we go to dashboard and we scroll down to plugin and we click a new. Remember you're using a free plugin. So you just come here and type WooCommerce PDF invoices. After that, you just have this many options. So select the one from WebToffee. It has more than 10,000 active installation. You can see from the latent of just less than 29 it has a bigger latent you can see almost four and a half so that's a good uh, response uh, the plugin is called Woo uh, woocommerce pdf invoice packing slip delivery note and shipping label is offering a lot of uh, and variety of option so we install the plugin after successful installation what you need to do is we activate the plugin and we go to settings so that you can be able to set. So after that, we will have this option, invoice drop packaging on this uh, sidebar of the dashboard. So select general setting. So you, if, you, if you happen to find that one of these is not activated, just activate it, activate it, and you save it. From there, you're going to set you're going to setting on, on the invoices so click setting and want to enable invoice select yes use the order date uh, as the invoice date this one this invoice date want to use the day the the order was done if you want to use it click yes if you don't want to use it use a custom date the day the invoice was generated generate generate the invoice of the order state uh, when the status is completed i want it to be completed so select completed attach pdf order in the invoice select yes enable print invoice option for the customer select yes show print button if the status is completed yeah after that add a customer to note you can add and set your logo just click here and upload your logo and select attach it and update setting from there we come here and select invoice number so i want the invoice to have a prefix and a number what is the prefix let me show you this is the prefix here this one invoice is a prefix but you can change it and enter the one suitable for you i just used that one prefix and the number so 
you just change it on this prefix section here use order number as invoice number what does that mean if you want to use this order number let me show you with one this one this is my order number you see is the one that is being used as invoice number but if you don't want to use that one because some orders may, may have uh, you want maybe to follow up in invoice and number the successful one so what you need to do is select no and as the start number of your invoice if you want to start from like this one uh, you want this one to be 00001 you just enter one here if you want to start like number 10 like that 10 you just you just reset it and you can increase it yeah the certain set you can even add it manually like that before the number to start like a hundred that be the first invoice number enter your hundred the prefix i use invoice invoice this one prefix enter invoice and remember to add this sign here a minus sign so that it will be invoice like this one dash here and the invoice number will follow the length of the invoice number i want them to be six what does that mean you can see here i have six all of six the six of them from here one two three four five six if you want to have 10 you can increase number here and type 10 yeah but i want them to be six and you update after that we customize our invoice you can see here you have it so if you want to add this logo or you don't want need it if you need it if you don't need it just put it off if you want to change it uh, if you want to change it from logo to my name just select my name you can increase the size like you see 20 or 22 you can increase you can increase it the way you want it how you want it to be visible yeah you see like 60 is a good one and you can uh, add extra detail maybe shop easy you can add it add it so you can also increase the size and use something like 20 and you need to reduce this one to something like 40 yeah all 20 you see it's good yeah you set it but i don't need it so i want it to be like that you can even change the header color maybe green like that but i want it to be white yeah from there the next thing in is invoice number you want this invoice if you don't want that word you can change it to any word you want maybe say my invoice number you see it works but how you can change it you can increase the size you can also even increase uh, the style to normal you can see bolder i want it like that let it be bolder from there come to order number allege set everything like we have done it what if you want this name here to be on this side here do you have that option on that we don't have it so when you come to address like this one like invoice don't have it so billing address let's see yeah here you have this billing address if you don't want this billing address to be here just come and select the side you want it to be yeah but i want it to be if you want it to be on center i want it to be on left you see it has this line in here let's remove this one from this section here to from address this one is from address so you just come here and select left you see now just align itself from left that's how you said where you want it to be placed what if you want the stamp when the payment is received so you just select this received payment received stamp yeah activate it if you want to change its color you can 
change it the way you want it to be yeah you can you can see here you can add see payment received yeah you see payment received and you can let it be in capital say payment received a stamp like that one and you can also increase the angle here like even if you put it on 60 it will just change the way it just it is if you want to do it to be like that you just if you want to set just put negative and like 45 that way it is yeah that how you set the the stamp from there if you want this footer here you just activate from this section if you don't maybe you can put like terms and terms and condition the terms for you to be for gel uh for return to be returned to your company you just have to activate this one after that you save you save it if you want to create your own you just create your own template from here and you add everything from there we go to other setting the other setting other documents well, now you are in parking slip let me see if i have a parking slip don't have one but it's almost the same they set everything we remove the image product yeah we are the customer note select yes and the footer select yes for the parking slip yeah let it have that the delivery note include yes at the customer note and the footer the shipping and everything dispatch select yes add footer select yes for shipping label let it be yes on footer and update the setting from there we go back to general setting again and now we set the general we have already set everything on the document other document section so now you come to general setting general setting now you set your name yeah this name that is showing here uh this name that is we can show here instead of logo put it like that you can change it enter your logo upload your logo and attach it from there enter foot uh the footer i have one already so i just put it there set your address business address like for me is you can enter the department maybe in sales and business center or you can put what you want uh your company detail there address enter your address i have mine the city mine is Nairobi. I have put my city. You set everything from here. So after that, you come to other setting. Preview before printing. Enable it. E L T L support. Select no. Don't activate this one. It will just uh, mess everything up. So after that, we have set everything. What you need to do is we view it in action so we come to product uh we come to woocommerce and we go to orders yeah you can see i have some orders complete before before i activated the plugin this is how it looked we never had those option here you can see the order number is 539 and the order number that i i have opened for now is five that nine you can see we don't we, ne we never had them let me open this five that nine this was before we installed the plugin and now after you install the plugin you see we have this print action option now here if you want to print an invoice you click on it and before you print you can be able to see we have my shop here and we have the invoice number order number invoice invoice date and everything you see even payment received yeah you just print 
after that let me wait don't want. so i'm creating a pdf because i don't have a printer for now so the next thing you see this is how uh, this is the done policy you see this is the footer now the one we did added here yeah? so that's how your invoice will look after you follow the instruction i've shown you from that now we come to you can download the invoice and send the customer you have print parking strip let's see the parking strip you see the parking strip don't have much let me save it so this is a parking strip you see we have the logo here and we have the order number the date and from there we have the billing address the contact and the shipping address and from their address yeah your stall this is the parking strip uh, this is what uh, is inside in that box or maybe your packages you see you, you have these two product uh, you see now after that we have this description is a sport shoe the color and number you see is a, this was a variable product and the quantity and the total weight from there we have the footer section yeah let's now go to something else and review the delivery note let's see the delivery note this is a delivery note let's download it so this is the delivery note the one that will be delivered with so it's almost like a parking slip but this is a delivery note it will be used what is supposed to be what is being delivered you see just highlight highlight everything from now from there now we go to go to print dispatch label this is the one that will dispatch maybe you have this company with a double check uh, what is uh, what is living from the company so you see we have the logo we have the invoice order date and this dispatch day yeah you have now the bidding address here you have it we have the contact after that we have the shipping address and from the address and whatever is uh is supposed to be shipped is indicated even the total cost yeah and your return policy so that how you add and create uh the invoice and parking strip and delivery note that how you do it remember to share it with your friend and remember to turn on the notification to be notified whenever i post a new video feel welcome